Hello everyone, we are looking at a no-joke item today, deferred tax assets and liabilities. So let's pretend for a second that Little Bo Peep Incorporated is suing your company for losing her sheep. And it's quite a lawsuit for a thousand, well not a thousand, how about a million? How about a million dollars uh, due to punitive damages? You called up your attorney who said, hey, sure enough, it's very probable she will win. You know your gap rules. You have to accrue your loss due to lawsuit right away as soon as you know it's probable. And you will show a contingent liability on your balance sheet. So loss will obviously create a lower net income right now on your books. However, if you take a looks return, the IRS does not allow you to deduct the loss until you actually pay it in cash. So there's no difference right now on your tax return. Let's take a look in the future. In the future, when cash is paid, you will have higher deductions on the tax return because you will subtract that loss. And it will create a deductible income on your tax return. Deductible income is a good thing. Think lower taxes and it will create deferred tax asset. Um, similar expenses or losses will be warranty expenses that is very much popular. Let's take a look at one more. I'll give you this example. Let's pretend you are using normal accrual accounting for your books, but you are strictly cash basis on your tax, okay? And you prepaid for your insurance, one year contract, well, two years, three years, whatever it could be, the longer the better, because we're talking about the future. On your books, you will debit prepaid insurance and credit cash. There is actually no effect on your net income right now. Why? Both are assets. When you look on the cash basis, you will have to expense full amount. Why? It's cash and you spend cash, so it must be your expense. So it will drive your taxable income low currently. However, in the future years, in the future years, your deductible expenses for this item will be zero. You already spend them up. If your deductible expenses or your deductions are zero, that will drive your taxable income high, creating higher taxes in the future, or it will be deferred tax liability. Okay, key items as you look at various items that might be on your CPA exam. Maybe create a chart like that. Know your accrual basis of accounting very well. See what's going on on your books. Take a look what's right now on the tax return. So obviously you will have to have good understanding of your basic IRS rules. And then really triple think about your tax return in the future. And be careful with those deductions because they will have an adverse relationship with your taxable income. The higher your deductions, the lower will be your taxable income. That's it. It's not that hard. Practice makes it perfect.